Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for Creation now. is, is uh, it's about choosing what we want, going for what we want, but being in love with the now. And too often uh, we can we can find this to be contradictory. You know, well, how can I go for the the now? How can I go for the now and love the now and at the same time go for something else? How can I, how can that be possible? And this can be something that can really stop us. But but truthfully, when we are, when we're, when we're really creating, we've got to know that others are creating. The universe is also giving us feedback. And as we create, I haven't met a single creator that just chooses what they want and, uh, and then it's just there. What I mean by that is as we choose to create something new, we move towards it. There's always there's always things we have to overcome, move through. Who who knows this to be true? I don't know. Uh, I don't know anybody that I've seen out there. I've never read a biography, and the person said, "Yeah, I just decided to be this, and I had it." Uh, there's there was always there's always things to overcome, and 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 I think that that's part of the joy. You know, I think part of the joy is yeah, I'm going to create this, and then as you're creating it knowing that there is going to be there is going to be resistance in yourself there's going to be disappointment that it didn't turn out the exact way you want and so you know i think that uh it's really important to understand you know what success is see success is creating a life you love who agrees with that success is a creating a life you love success success isn't uh ending at some some point See, a life, the life is always moving. And so can you see the weird contradiction that we have? Oh, when I have this, then my life will be fixed. When I have the millions of dollars, when I have the amazing marriage, when I have the healthy body, when I have this, when I have, then my life will be fixed. Can you see this, this destination obsession being a concept that actually misses the whole point? You know, I'm going to go for this thing and I'm going to be unhappy the whole time I'm trying to go for it. And so the real journey is the journey of going for what you love at the same time as enjoying what you're getting. True. Going for what you love as well as enjoying what you're getting. Uh, too often uh, we find people who are going for something that they love. Let's say they want freedom and their way of getting freedom is by... Um, basically uh, having non-freedom, you know? I'm gonna do all this stuff I don't like then to finally have freedom. Not realizing that if they just enjoyed life and did the things they wanted, they could have it now and move towards it. And so uh, who thinks this is quite an interesting conundrum that uh, that we see so often uh, is, is this idea of that it will be better when it will be better when, it will be better when, it will be better when. It, it just simply won't. It just simply won't. It will, it will only ever be as good as it is now. It, it's, it's only ever as good as you're allowed it to be now. That's it. There's no, it's only as, it's only as good as you allow it to be now. And so you can create whatever it is you want to create. Uh, but none of it's personal. Hey Jonathan, good to see you. Hey brother, none of it's personal. None of it's going to change you. You're gonna you're gonna be the same. And so it can be very disappointing uh, when we set it up to make it personal. You know, when I get there, then I'll be different. You know, when I have this, it will be different. And it's um, it can nearly it can nearly annoy aspects and parts. So it would be different, Chris. What are you talking about? It would be different when I had this, when I had this. No, it would be. You're wrong. You're wrong, man. I can feel it. I can hear those those little those little grumbles, those little those little things in the back. That those those aspects, those parts are are so certain 
they're so certain and that they're going to be disappointed because how could how could we all of a sudden practice being one way and then become another you know and, and when is enough enough this is a problem with this you know when is enough enough well i need to have this much body weight or i need to be this or i need to look this way or i need to have this much money oh no it's not this now it's more i need to have this boat no i need a bigger boat no i need one car two car when, when would enough and so the problem is it's never enough and so it's about finding it now and then smoothly growing to to everything and anything you want and it's it's just simply it's just simply the better way who agrees it's just simply the better way do you know what's a better way this i've just i've just got this new iced coffee obsession <laughs> so so uh that this is this is this is everything <laughs> there is nothing more i want <laughs> oh so good so good so good and, and it's it's really you know wouldn't you just love to just be such a such a happy manifester you know knowing that you can't get happier than the now turning up to your problems with a smile turning up to the challenges going yes this is life this is cool this is what's happening see when we put so much external weight on these certain things happening we're giving our power away there's really nothing you can't love about iced coffee, Donna. You're right. It's it's everything. We're giving our power away when I when I can do this or when I have this or when I can be this. Where's the power then? A lot of power is given away to success. A lot of power is given away to circumstances. A lot of power is given away to being something else, fixing ourselves. See, do you see where the power goes? It's away. It's away, isn't it? Yeah. And so it's it's very important that we we don't uh, we don't. Hey, I, I just checked on um, Facebook. Hey, Rach. Hey, Kelly. Jump on Zoom, guys. I can't um, do two questions. Um, I can't do two lots of questions. Hey, Rach. I gave you a buzz last week. Um, so jump on Zoom because I just can't. I can't multitask too much. When it comes to questions so so here's here's what can happen is is as we're choosing to create we can get ourselves stuck in this misguided notion my wife's just walking you're gonna come say hi you're just gonna sneak by i've said it now you have to come say hi harriet's trying to just sneak i'm just laughing at you talking about multitasking that's all i know what are you doing is everyone met harriet hey everybody she's just chilling look this is this is total show them your t-shirt oh this is total goals <laughs> we're so twinning right now it's it's kind of funny it's totally cute <laughs> uh so good okay so uh arrive uh, enjoying enjoying it you know we put so much expectation or worry or, or or thing on this external and then as that shifts or changes then it affects us and we can just see where our power has gone and and i am not saying that this is easy you know because we're so conditioned aren't we you know so conditioned that it's it's to it's this i've got to go somewhere it's this thing that's going to give it to me right it's this validation it's this praise it's this success it's this achievement it's being not myself if i it's that it's that and it's so easy to fall into that belief who agrees it's so easy you know it's that it's that it's that when i just could have that then i'll be better then i'll feel better it's that and it's the most disappointing thing because then you go get it and you realize that you've just turned up there and you're in this structure so then the structure looks well i'm still not happy so it must be that or i'm still not satisfied so it must be that or, or screw this i'm going to go somewhere else it is torture living like that amy and i see people torturing themselves with this misguided notion and and so today it, it's about understanding how to go for what you love have it now and not get into the state of overwhelm not get into the state of overwhelm of all the things you must be do have and, and race you know that they called us the human race and it does feel sometimes like we are a race what are we racing to we all end up in the same place and so there's this really weird race 
really weird like what are we racing to and so you know obviously we need to shift to be a human being and being it now being in the moment is is so good and so i want to work on this i want to work on this is i want us to step into the true choice of being a powerful creator and a, and by definition a powerful creator is the person that is creating the moment, creating the feeling, creating the perspective. See, I know that you could take someone from a developed world, you could put them into your circumstances, and they could feel grateful. Is it true? They could feel happy. They could feel satisfied, right? In fact, they'd feel happy, grateful, and satisfied with a heck of a lot less than you would. And so I know that we have the ability to do it. Is it true? We have the ability, yet we don't because we feel that we need this dysfunction of now isn't good enough so that we can remember who we are, which is someone so attached to not being enough, you see? But Chris, if I felt good enough now, where would all my motivation be? Exactly, exactly. You could finally be you, be true to you. Does this make sense, everybody? So I know that I could, I could, you know, Photoshop you out, bring someone else in, and they could be grateful with what you are so annoyed at. And so because of that truth, I know you're not being a powerful creator because you're letting outside circumstances get in, you see. And it's not until, until you finally pass this test, until you be it, until you get to see it and keep it. And it seems crazy to our old paradigm. It seems crazy, doesn't it? We were told, no, you know, work hard, strive to something, move towards something else. But really, we could fly to Fiji in better times when we're not all COVID-19 um, self-isolating. We could go to Fiji and we could see people just being it, just being happy. Yet here we are in this weird system thinking that we need to go and do something to then have what is available to us for free. You see, and you can opt out of this right now. You can opt out of this belief structure. You simply can opt out. No, I can't, Chris. I've got, I've got uh, mortgage and taxes and duh, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. I'm saying you can opt out of the belief system. You can opt out of the structure. You can arrive to challenges with a smile and not in this overwhelming sense of expectation. Is it true? You can. You can. The only reason that you're unable to is the self-sabotaging aspects of you that are addicted to the old ways of being. That's simply it. That's simply it. So I want to choose for you all to be a powerful creator. Powerful creator. And a powerful creator means you own the moment. You own the moment. You own the moment. You own it. No matter what's happening outside of it, you're the one owning the moment. You're the powerful creator of that. You're holding that moment. You're not, you're not letting something else take your frustration or take, you're not, you're just holding it. You're holding it. You're being it. You're, you're just in it. I want you to be that. Who wants to be that? That powerful creator, that boat that doesn't let any of the water in, knowing that only, only what sinks a ship is what you let in and you don't you're just there right because because here's the truth and it's it's it, as you're creating you're going to face stormy weather you're going to face opposition you're going to face rejection it's going to happen guys uh you know as you go toward you want to do something you're moving towards it. you're going to face other things it's, it's the fun of it it's the fun of it It's the fun of it. It's the fun of it. I, you know, I think one of the greatest things of life is not having something and then having it like contrast. Uh, I mean, where would we be without, you know, how would we ever appreciate summer if it wasn't for winter or, you know, like it, it, contrast is great. You know, it's just great. And, and, and so I love going from not having it to having it. So it's good. You know, and as you move forward, so it's good. Whatever conditioning, you know, that we picked up, it's now time to say, let's go. Let's be powerful creators in every moment. So let's choose it. 
let's choose it. And then we're going to work on um, all the reasons why um, it's overwhelming not to have this. So let's get into a creative structure. Okay, so choose it. So, so close your eyes. And I want you to step into the end result of being a powerful creator that is creating your reality. I just want you to notice how it would feel to every moment to own the moment. Every moment to be choosing how you feel and feeling how you choose. Now, how does it feel? It feels powerful to me. That's it. Just choose it. I am a powerful creator and it feels so good. Open your eyes when you're ready. So that's what we're choosing to be. How does it feel, by the way? Yeah. Powering, light, good. Royal. Cool. The real you. My whole head feels weird. Good. Centered. So we choose it. Okay. So I, I want to 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 now step into that aspect of you that gets overwhelmed or gets anxious at all the things that has to be done, all the things you must achieve, everything you must do. Can everybody get into that? Well, there's, is there an aspect of you that can get overwhelmed? How does that, how does that version of you respond to being a powerful creator? How does that version of you step into it? I'm, I'm going to step into the over and you know, you can tell me it, you don't have one of these versions of you. I think you do, though. I want you to step into this version of you, and I want you to notice how does this version of you react to that choice? Just view it. What are the beliefs that this version of you thinks? I've got too many things to do. I can't handle all this. He doesn't know what it's like to be a mom with all these things. He doesn't know. i got this. Oh, the overwhelmed. How does the overwhelmed version of you, what does the overwhelmed version of you think about being a powerful creator? There's a bunch of you, if you want to be, sorry, out on Facebook, if you want to join us, How do you get out of it? So how does it feel? How does the overwhelmed version of you feel? See, this aspect of you can take over the moment at any time. It can take over the moment at any time. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. And this 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 version of you is in a human race. True. I've got to do that. I've got to. I've got to. Oh, my God. It's all too much. I want you to notice how the, this, this aspect really responds to the world. Yeah. So... What I would like us to do is be powerful creators. In every moment, you are creating that response. You have created that identity. And for a moment, ask yourself, why would I create this version of me? What benefit? You probably won't have an answer. Maybe you do. Oh, this makes me connect with dad oh being a, oh this gives me an excuse yeah i like this makes me feel busy 
and feeling busy is like a badge to everyone I went to college with. I feel worthy when I'm overwhelmed and busy, got so much to do. Just notice it, right? So you, so choose to be powerful, choose to be powerful, you know, choose to have what you want and choose to meet all the things that you don't really want with a smile, you know, because that neutralizes them. If you keep resisting it, oh, I'm annoyed at this. I'm annoyed at this. You're giving it energy and on the, on the path of creation. It's, it's there, there's not always getting everything you want. That would be a very difficult world for everyone to live in. Okay. If everyone just chose and then just got it straight away, it'd be really weird, you know? So there's time, there's patience, and you, you got to move through and, and get and stay in the right vibration and plant the seed and get there. So it's, uh, yeah, and it's about staying in that tension, becoming it, and then letting it unfold.